we're just doing a respiratory check on this uh, Pakistani Russell Viper and it seems to uh, be respiring very well. Now you folks have seen the uh, video of the uh, Siamensis species, um, rather common sedate. Well, real true Pakistani Indian Russell Vipers uh, um, they're not quite so sedate. Uh, this is a, a young male, uh, courtesy of uh, Mr. Joe Swatowski. Um, very beautiful animal, very pissy. One of the snakes that kills more people in the world every year than those uh, highly dangerous Canadian geckos. Okay. We have a special uh, treat today. Uh, this is a real Pakistani Russell's Viper. Um, let's uh, contrast him to the videos and such of the uh, Russell's Vipers that uh, uh, that came from uh, Indonesia, the Siamensis. Um, not only, you notice that <laughs> I was really careful with this guy because one reason why I'm doing this today is he put on such a feeding demonstration the other day that I was so upset that I didn't have the camera rolling because you would have been amazed. Um, but these are totally different uh, critters uh, than the uh, Indonesian variety. They behave much more aggressively. They don't. Uh, they don't sit there and hiss at you. They actually do something. Now I don't know if he's going to be hungry enough to do this. That was exceptionally quick. Oh, that was exceptionally quick. Okay, so there we have the infamous Pakistani Russell Viper, which is one of India's big five snakes that do kill lots and lots of people. Now an interesting note, I was reading a study uh, the other night that uh, the Indian uh, antivenin will work on Siamensis and the Siamensis antivenin will work on the mainland Indian Russell's Vipers, uh, but neither antivenins work on the Sri Lankan uh, variety of Russell's Viper. Um, which is a big problem and why so many people are working very hard at uh, creating an antivenin just for the, the people on Sri Lanka uh, because they have to give lots and lots of vials of serum to the people bitten in Sri Lanka. Now this is an amazing snake bite statistic. Take note of this. On average, during the year, 84 snake bites a day on Sri Lanka. And the vast majority of them are caused by the Russell's Viper. They have Russell's Vipers, they have Cobras, they have a diminutive uh, saw scale viper, which actually really doesn't cause much of a problem and is pretty docile it, considering it's a saw scale viper. But this is the culprit that maims and kills lots and lots of people on the annual basis. Um, here, bud.
here. That's the end you want. You know, now notice, um, there's, there's animals in my collection that I know where the limits are. And I can get close and uh, I can work with them in, with a relative degree of safety. However, the Pakistani Russell's Viper is not in that club. Pakistani's Russell's Viper uh, really, really gets my respect. Uh, this is a lively little character uh, with long fangs and lots of very, very potent venom. Uh, I just, uh, I don't give him any sort of a shot at me. Uh, Joe did a beautiful job at raising this pup up and uh, I've got a nice young lady uh, waiting for him. Uh, she's not quite old enough yet, uh, but you know, hopefully soon we'll be producing some very nice uh, uh, Russell's Vipers. You know, Russell's Vipers have sort of the Jimmy Durandy nose of the snake world. Um, it's a pretty god-awful ugly news. Can we focus at this distance? Let's see. We'll get the minimal focus distance. And let him do his thing. Well, it's dinner time for me. So let's let Mr. Russell's Viper uh, uh, do his thing there. And uh, I'll go eat uh, uh, myself. Uh, but I'll at least use my hands. Cheers.